It is January 6th, so it is time to clean up our Christmas decorations. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My name is Emily, and in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to get all of our Christmas decorations packed up and put away. Uh, the day I'm filming is Saturday, January 6th, and so this is like the end of the Christmas season. And on top of that, I have to get ready for a January birthday party. Tomorrow, my little boy Jack is turning two years old. My birthday's around the corner and we have our January birthday party for like all of our family uh, here in a week. Oh my gosh, it's a week away. So I need to definitely get these Christmas decorations put away so that I can then do a party prep video for that party. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Hopefully I'll get it all done today. Juan is taking the kids out uh, to go pick up some stuff for our chickens. So I'm hoping that while they are out, I can get as much done as possible. Unfortunately, I'm not, you know, banking or counting on a nap from Jack at home because he slept on the car ride home. We went to a little Orange County Zoo and it was a long enough drive home that he napped in the car. So I'm not getting like a nice two or three hours of him just in his room. That's why I need to take advantage of this time. So let's go ahead and get this done. So we are going to start by trying to tackle the areas that the kids will come in contact with more often. So in this case, I'm starting with their bathroom and then I will be going on to like more of the other frequently visited living areas. So now that the decorations are down, we are just gonna give the mirror and counters like a little wipe clean. My bathroom really isn't that messy right now, but I do try to clean whenever I get the chance. This may mean that I don't get a huge before and after reveal, like, you know, that would be satisfying to watch, but it does help me keep my house in order a little bit better. So now this space has been tackled. I do have a little empty area above our toilet on the shelf and that will be reserved for the next decoration. In this case, our birthday party, there will be a little decoration that goes there. And I'm breaking out my little helping hand to take down some of the decorations that I hang from our light fixtures. I gotta say, this little thing comes in handy. I love not having to break out my big ladder or anything like that. Typically, I can just stand on a tiny step stool or like here, I'm just standing on the floor in our house and I'm able to take down our decorations. Now that that's packed away, let's go ahead and move on outside just to our front area. Again, the kids will come in contact with this, so I'd rather it just be packed away without them seeing it disappear. And again, while I'm out here, I'm just gonna give the space a quick clean and this will make my life easier as our birthday party approaches.
I didn't have very many decorations in the kids room but Aubrey did have a little tree so I took that down and then I am also taking down the paper bag snowflakes that I have hanging over our dining room table and these collapse really nicely I just had to take out a staple that was holding them together and they you know fold up nice and can fit in our box just fine. Next, we're gonna go ahead and clean up this glass board. I do miss having the little like designs up there, but I wanted just to keep it simple since this design that I'm writing up now is only gonna be up for one week because I will be decorating this in some way for Jack's birthday. So just the basics, numbers, Aubrey's name, and some of the letters that she's been practicing with pronunciation. So this wreath, you see me taking it down, it had actually lost like a few ornaments from it. it it's something that I made and I just kind of used hot glue. So naturally being stored and handled by the kids, sometimes the ornaments fall off. So I will be breaking out my hot glue gun to not only fix this, but also to kind of work with the decorations sitting on top of our pendant lights. So when I decided to decorate and I wanted to do something on top of our pendant lights, I thought, you know, let's just throw some greenery up there. And I just placed it like one piece after another. Nothing was set in stone, but you know, it looked great. But then I was just like, I'm going to have to do this every year. I'm going to have to individually put each little piece up there and it's going to be super annoying. So I bought this thing from Dollar Tree. It's a two pack of like styrofoam round pieces and the diameter was just shy of the length of our pendant light, like the square up top. So it would fit perfectly in that little space on top of our pendant lights. So what I did was I cut out just like a little little sliver of it, large enough so that, you know, the pole of the pendant light could go through it all the way to the center. And then I hot glued all of the greenery that was on there on the styrofoam. And you guys will see like it, it fits back up on top of the pendant lights perfectly. Nothing moves around. And when I want to remove it, it's a quick, quick thing. I am so happy with how this turned out. And I really foresee making like other ones in the future. You could have things just jumping off like little hearts on little stringy things from the Dollar Tree. Like I'm just, I'm so excited to see, you know, what else I can do. Maybe for Easter, we'll have like a big pile of Easter eggs up there or, you know, something, but I want to make it fun. And I'm really glad that I checked that off because that little styrofoam two pack was sitting on my counter for the longest time because I just kept putting it off, putting it off. And I was like, well, you know, at least now I'm taking it down we'll glue this and we'll move on. But anyways, enough about that. <laughs> now that the areas where the kids kind of interact with are all checked off, I've moved into our bedroom. I don't know, the kids might have been in bed right now or they're with Juan. So I'm in my room kind of finally taking down our little nativity scene, our Christmas tree and putting all the boxes away. So in this clip, you see me putting our like family PJs in a bag. And that's actually because I break these out every year. And I had bought these like a couple years ago, like when Aubrey was like a baby. And I just bought like size 
three, size six, size 10. I bought a baby like size like nine months or whatever. And I just envisioned like our kids growing up and breaking into the new size whenever we needed it. And so far it's worked out perfectly. Like the kids fit into the clothes. If they're slightly too big, it's not a big deal. And if we have another child in the future, like I have a baby outfit just in case I have the 18 month one just in case. So, you know, I, I, in my opinion, it's a great way to save money. (laughs) I didn't want to be buying expensive matching pajamas every year. And it's kind of fun to see it, you know, grow with our family. This little advent calendar here was one that I grew up with. It's missing the little bear that like hops around the house and I really love it. It brings back like a lot of memories from my youth, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of it because I noticed that Aubrey really just enjoyed using our little snowman with the moving nose. So I have to say goodbye to my past and embrace Aubrey's and Jack's youth with our other Christmas countdown. And the last thing I'm doing now that the kids are definitely asleep is taking down our Christmas tree and I'm also taking off the lights. This was a pre-lit tree, but a lot of the lights started to like die towards the end of the Christmas season. So I just figured I was going to take off all the lights and then next year, you know, if we still use this tree, we can just buy a new string and light up the tree that way. It won't be as much work but this took me forever, even though it was such a short clip. But I'm packing away our ornaments to be stored with our tree and I'm calling it a night. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching me take down my Christmas decorations. I hope you're just as excited as I am for Jack's second birthday party. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.